My name is Dan Dan Xu. I'm from China. I used to work uh, as a postdoc researcher from the theoretical astrophysics group at HEATS. I work on numerical simulations on gravitational lensing. Years ago, I applied to work with Professor Volker Springle. Um, back then, I was only a PhD student, and he was, and actually still is, my idol, actually the idol for a bunch of us, a crazy astrophysicist student, and the, all in our PhD times. And so I, so basically we, we, we respect and admire very much his knowledge, his research, his modest personality, so I applied. And I got admitted uh, for a joint postdoc position between Heats and Bonn University under the Alexander von Humboldt Fellowship. Uh, back then, I didn't know what HIT would be like, um, but it turned out that it's, I have been extra lucky. First of all, Heidelberg is a lovely, peaceful town with nature. And I have been always so grateful to Mr. Klaus Chira. It is due to his great vision and great effort that a bunch of scientists from completely different backgrounds, we can get together, work under the same roof. Just across the hall, you can grab a biologist or a, a geneticist. You can easily shoot out all your stupid questions or your silly thoughts or can launch discussions. For example, we, we talk about um, how our muscles move and that's the very first time I find out this little object, this little thing called molecular motors. They, they, they literally vividly walking or even running up and down the highway in, in the cell and they, they coordinate with each other and together they maneuver our body as their grand spaceship. My friends from different disciplines, they, they from time to time they always laughed at my uh, shocking reaction when I learn about what's going on in their fields and actually vice versa when I tell them about the early universe phase transition where a melted universe becoming crystallized as w the one we observe today and uh, and we may we may simply be just a, a 3d holographic image of some true information that actually stored at the boundary of our universe and and we share all this and we we, we share all these knowledges but it, most importantly, we share the all to nature, to all the laws about nature. I really enjoy listening to my favorite lectures online while walking in Heat's garden and in between counting endless of trees, plants, flowers from one side of the garden where we have a wonderful waterfall and you go through the windy roads to the other side of the garden in autumn times, you can pick up a pear from, or apple from the tree, just to shine the apple on your sleeve and, and eat it. That's good experience for the body and great experience for the mind. For a researcher, if your research goal happens to be where your greatest passion, greatest curiosity lie, then you're absolutely super lucky. But before that moment arrives, I think research serves as a very good daily exercise. And through exercise, we get trained, we get ready, until one day, eventually we're lucky enough to gain an extra piece to this ultimate puzzle. A puzzle about the nature of space and time, the puzzle about where we're actually from. To do so, I believe this needs people working in different scientific disciplines to work together, to, to solve the puzzle together. Why should apply a position that hits? To be pampered. To be pampered as a child searching for questions to why about the ultimate law of nature. That's it.